my friend is an artist read. In my new list, artist the scientist. Today, I'll show you how to make an activity about animal cell and plants. You must know that cell is the building blocks of life or the smallest unit of any living thing. Let's see how to make this activity. You will need a piece of chart, clay, colored paper, glue, wooden sticks. Now we will start to make the cell wall. Cell wall is a stiff structure that found only in the plant cell. It gives the plant cell its box shape. Its function is to protect the cell and give it strength. Now we will make the cell membrane. Cell membrane surrounds both plant and animal cell. It controls which material enter or get out from the cell. Now we will make the nucleus. At the center of each plant and animal cell, the nucleus controls all cell activities. Inside it, we can find the chromosomes that have the DNA. Now we will make another organelle or part called vacuole. One large vacuole in the plant cell and two or more in the animal cell. Its function is to store excess water, food and wastes. Now with the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. Inside it, the food is burned to release energy. Chloroplast Green parts that are found only in the plant cell. Chloroplast has a chlorophyll inside which gives the plant its green color and captures sunlight to make sugar. Now we will use the slime to make a jelly-like structure that fill both plant and animal cell. This jelly-like liquid called cytoplasm. It fills the space between nucleus and cell membrane in both plant and animal cell. It has important chemicals and hold all cell organelles. Now we can use the colored paper to make the labels. We will write each part and with the glue we can fix it on a wooden stick then to the part. Take care, 
when you are making this model and if you want to use the slime as cytoplasm, don't forget to use a type of a clay that doesn't react with the slime. Now we finished, I hope you enjoyed the activity and it is easy for you to do. It will help you also to remember each part and its function by matching the color with the function. And don't forget what we learn with collision, we never forget. Thanks for watching and with us in the next activity.